by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can load custom shapes onto a Mac. Now, there's a number of steps, another possible ways of doing it, and I'm just going to see, show you the first step, which is the CSH file itself. Now, that's the key thing for Photoshop. You can find many of them on the web, loads and loads. Just do a quick search for free shapes or whatever. Also, there's lots of shapes sets on graphicextras.com. Loads and loads of them up to about 200 now. Now, first thing to do, just gonna quickly go over to Photoshop itself and select the custom shape tool. And it's custom shape, and you will notice a little panel over here. Now, these ones have already got some custom shapes in. There's a number of options that you can do. You can quickly go to load shapes on the right side menu, load shapes. So just select that and just select say one of these sch files click open and you'll see it just suddenly loads the shapes just down there so again if i do the same i can do the same again load shapes and you'll just see it just adds some more shapes right so those shapes can then be accessed in photoshop also there's an option for if you go right side replace shapes so you can select that and again just select that one and then you'll just get that set. All the other ones have been removed. Now, another option, just go to Edit and Presets and Preset Manager. And you'll see an option there for custom shapes. There's brushes, swatches, etc. But there's custom shapes. Now, what you can do, you can do the load command again. Select that. And I'm just going to go and select a different set this time. Maybe people shape. So you can just select that and you'll notice those shapes are added beneath the existing set. There is an option also for, just over here, right side, just go replace custom. Why it's not actually the button, I don't know, but replace custom shapes. And you can then go, I'm just gonna to go to another set. So, try radial, select that, and you'll suddenly see all the previous sets have been removed. Right, there's also an option just on this, the same as with the other custom shapes palette, there's a drop down. Now, the list here, you'll see a list there, and you've got this one here. I'll just quickly explain that in the other panel in five seconds. Right, just going to go to that panel. Exactly the same structure over here as well. So it's all animals, etc. And this one down here. Now, how to get it there? Well, you just go to the folder and so you've got Finder, just click there, and obviously new Finder window, but I'm just going to quickly go to Go, and Go to Folder, and you can go to the Library, just type that, go to, and it will just go to Application Support, and then within that you've got Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015, and you'll see the Flowers set. Now the Zigzag set added as well in a previous video so but as i've obviously haven't restarted photoshop the zigzag one doesn't appear it only appears once you restart the application so uh, if you don't actually restart it you won't see it until next time the flowers one which i added earlier is in that list and that's why it's got that, that little divider there's another location you put you've got applications so you just go to applications and you can put the file the csh files just down there into custom shapes. So it's in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 presets and then custom shapes and just add the files there. There's the all animals as in that list. Just there. Right. Okay, so that's a quick run through of those. There is another option as well you can do to actually load custom shapes. And that's just going to go to the finder itself as well. And I'm just going to go to my set of custom shapes again. Just bring that up and say symmetry one okay i'm going to select that one and what you can do is just double click on that and that will load the set very quickly there's the set of symmetry brushes also you can do just go down there and you can right click and you get open and open with and just select photoshop right that's just a quick run through of ways of adding custom shape files into photoshop so once they're there of course the next thing is you can add them as shapes pass and pixels just going to shape just select that one and just select one of the designs 
just apply it very quickly like that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.